Have you ever wanted to do a live stream while walking around your office or around town? Well, with the TerraDeck VDU, you can broadcast straight from your camera, no PC required. I'm Ken Tran, and this is GeekBeat TV. Now, many of you guys know we do a lot of live streaming here at GeekBeat. And a lot of what we do requires a lot of huge computers with capture systems and other complex things. But sometimes you just want to take a feed out of your camera and send it to the internet. The TerraDeck has come up with a great portable solution called the VDU. The VDU is an all-in-one unit that simply takes an HDMI signal out of your camera and pushes it out live to the internet on whatever streaming service you want to use. All you have to do is plug your HDMI camera into the VDU and press the stream button. That's it. Now, of course, you will have to configure the VDU before you can stream. And while you can do a lot of the configuration via the embedded LCD display, your best bet will be to use the available iOS app. The iOS app is very straightforward. It gives you direct access to all the different settings of the VDU, like platform and quality settings, and provides a preview monitor of what the VDU is seeing from the camera. With the app, you can get diagnostics of the status of the VDU and start and stop the stream itself. As for the device itself, the VDU is very compact and self-contained. It has a clear to read LCD screen to see the current status of the device, as well as allow you to adjust the settings via the four-way directional menu button. On the side, you have a power switch and a headphone jack to monitor the audio going out. It also includes a USB port to stream to USB 3G, 4G modems instead of the built-in dual-band MIMO Wi-Fi or Ethernet jack. On the back, you have your HDMI input, a microphone input for external audio, a reset button, your network jack, and your power jack. There are also a couple of power indicators on the back to tell if you're charging a unit and if it's running off a of DC power. The video includes a removable hot shoe mount to put on top of any camera or leave it stacked on the table. What makes the VDU great is for those times when you need to go completely wireless. The VDU has an internal battery pack that lasts about an hour. Just place your unit on top of your camera, attach a USB modem or Wi-Fi hotspot to it, and you're off and running completely wirelessly. The VDU supports full 1080p resolutions and encodes the video in real time using H.264 AAC at about 5 megabits. While the VDU natively supports the live stream and Ustream, you can also stream to any RTMP system that you want. The VDU's motto is Broadcast Without Boundaries, and that's definitely what it can deliver. At 689, the VDU isn't exactly a cheap device, but when you consider everything it can do, it's a great value. You won't save much money if you build your own computer to do the same thing, and it won't be as portable as this. I took the VDU, one of our Vixias, and my iPhone 5 in hotspot mode, and ran around downtown Dallas streaming for almost an hour before my phone died. The video happily streamed the whole time, dynamically adjusting the quality as needed depending on how well the LTE network was doing. You can't easily do that with a computer running around downtown. I've also taken the video and piped the HDMI feed out of a TriCaster for six hours non-stop, streaming at the full five megabits. In both cases, the video was rock solid. To me, the video is a great value for streaming your content, whether it be direct from a camera or from a production switcher itself. Based on its ease of use, relative affordability, and quality, I have to give it a GeekBeat Editor's Choice. And if you're looking to do your own streaming, you definitely need to take a look at getting one of these. You can read even more detail about the video on our website at geekbeat.tv. So how would you guys use this product? Give us some comments down below, and as always, if you like this review and want to see more of it, give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. My name is Ken Tran with GeekBeat TV, and thanks for watching.